Hello, hello, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, Hi, good evening. Hi. Good evening, good evening. Uh, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's start. Appreciate that you are on time. Let's see, turn on your cameras, please. Um, hopefully you are safe, right? So people that is from San Salvador, that was a terrible raining dogs and cats, right? It was raining dogs and cats. So poor people in San Salvador, los capitalinos, cuatro horas para llegar al moverse dos cuadras del trabajo. Uh, so, uh, probably I know it is raining in many, many places right out of the country. So, ni modo. Siempre yo digo que hay que tener plan A, B, C hasta la Z para estar en la clase, porque aquí ya saben que aquí no hay pero que valga, right? O sea, está o no está así de fácil. Okay, so obviously, yeah, I do understand that there is uh, uh, raining everywhere, right? So that probably you are on the road, no han llegado, van todavía en camino, probablemente. But anyway, right, try to be connected. And as soon as you have the opportunity, so please uh, turn on your camera, right? So that's the my best advice, okay? So um let's start so i don't know if we receive a message today in the in the whatsapp group so let me double check this group because i saw a list but i don't know if it is from this group de una lista de pendientes quiero ver no 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 this one so nice no han enviado la verdad a este grupo no han enviado eh, que, que esté pendiente quizás no, no lo revisaron I don't know but so uh, we are going to start appreciate that you have your cameras um, uh, we are going to validate attendance and everything uh, right now so just let me let me start right here something because I don't know what happened. And let's see. Well, uh, let's see. We are twenty two participants. Okay. So my goodness, I have a couple of messages right here in the group. Okay. Uh, Sorry. So let's see. Uh, before to start with the attendance, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Maricela, how are you, Ana Maricela? Hi, teacher. Um, so bad. <laughs> you are bad? Yeah. I work in San Salvador, around in the Centro, and I live in Lourdes. So you are <laughs> in the bus right now? Are you at home? No. My goodness. I am station in Santa Tecla. Oh my goodness. So traffic uh, today it was an accident i guess in la carretera de los chorros right every single day we have accidents but today it was a an accident and everything was stopped so you are in a gas station okay maricela but it's nice that you are connected in the in the um call okay in this video call appreciate maricela let's see ada veronica welcome thank you for turning on your camera Ve, Ada Verónica me apagó la cámara cuando le di el nombre. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I have messages from you in the chat. Eh, no. Good evening. 
Good evening, Juan Antonio. So put me in the chat, Ada, Veronica, if you have any problem. Okay, so Juan Antonio, welcome, like always, with your fancy and luxury um, living room. Hey, nice Thank background, you. Martin de Jesus. Happy Teacher's Day, okay? Very nice, Martin. That's a good background, okay? Uh, nice. So, Ada Veronica, what happened? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Happy Teacher Day. Nice, thank you, appreciate it, nice. How are uh -huh. you, Ada Veronica? Today, I am very great. No, no. Okay. Mm, voy a decirlo en español porque es muy largo. My goodness, try to say it in English. Uh -huh. Go ahead, let's see, vamos a ver. Eh, que mi día fue, my day was, I was great, but I received a notice bad. Okay, you received like bad news. Noticias bad. malas, bad news. Okay, yes. but even though it was a great date, it was great, yes. but unfortunately you have bad news. Okay. Okay, I see Veronica. In this, but... in this moment, mm, very sad, but tratar de, de sentirme mejor, pero ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Voy para arriba, voy para arriba. <laughs> okay, okay, very good. So you are kind of a little sad. Okay, but no problem, Ada Veronica. The good thing is that you um, that you are in the class. Okay, so don't worry, forget about your sad news or bad news, and enjoy the class. Okay, nice. Thank you, Carlos, for your message right there in the chat. Appreci appreciate your comments and everything. Okay, so let's start. Let's see. Um, Catherine Andreina, nice to see you, Catherine. So how are you, Catherine? How you feel today? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Good, where are you? My goodness, you have like parts in your back. What? Where are the, you? What, del fondo, como? Aha, uh -huh, your background, that's a background? The yeah, background. Ah, ok, yo pensé que estaba celebrando ahí, dije, está en algún lugar, bien fancy, por eso le pregunté. <risa> Mentira. <risa> Nadie va a poner backgrounds ya, porque va a voy a preguntar que a dónde está. Okay. Hagan así como Juan Antonio, que pone la sala para que asumir, a ver en qué discoteca está Juan Antonio y pone ahí que en la sala de la casa está. <risa> Mentira, Juan Antonio, ok. So, ajá, uh -huh. nice. Yes, nice. Thank you, thank you, uh, Miss Catherine. Let's see, I have um, Juan Antonio, tell us uh, what dates today. Uh, well, my day was um, a little busy. Uh, I stay in my home, but I am, I was, in, I I was um uh how is it said uh, um no voy a decir este acabo de finalizar un trabajo ¿verdad? okay eh, so you estado... were okay I understand so that would be that you are you were at home okay but you were working so you were working yes. from home okay and you yes. just finish your task yes. or the activity or your work okay nice Correct. okay juan antonio very good uh -huh. nice let's see byron giovanni nice background you are in a luxury uh like in a luxury room okay Ooh, very you. nice you have a tv you have a couple of books you have a bookshelf you have a base with flowers, and I don't know what else you have in the back. All okay. is real. This is mine. Ah. 
le vamos a creer? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? <ríe> no sé, me suena sospechoso ese background. Yo digo que background, pero no sé. Pero que tengamos, tengamos compañeros pudientes. Mire el cuarto ahí de Don Byron Giovanni. Es otro nivel, right? So, le están poniendo competencia, Juan Antonio. Tiene que mejorar ahí tal vez la pintura de su sala porque ya le están poniendo competencia. Ok, so, ajá, Byron, Giovanni, nice. So, the question for Giovanni, that will be, um, Giovanni, tell us what day it's today. Listen, listen, listen to the questions, ok? What day it's today? Ah, Byron Giovanni. Ah, es que, sorry. Escuché de Giovanni nada más. What day is today? Yeah. It's Tuesday. You and I. Ok, 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 so vamos, vamos ahí, vamos arrancando, ok, so nice, uh, Byron Giovanni, no problem, uh, let's see, vamos a ver, le vamos a preguntar a Nelson Eduardo, Nelson Eduardo, one more time, the question, what day it's today? What date, date or day? No, what oh. day, just what date, date. Uh -huh. what day it's today? Today is Thursday. And... Perfect, okay, yeah, today is Thursday, not Tuesday, right? Thursday, today is Thursday, that's the day, okay, what day it's today? Today is Thursday, okay, nice. Let's see, Leticia Judith. Now, Leticia Judith, tell us uh, what is a today date? What is today date? Today is Thursday, twenty third. Twenty first, twenty one. Twenty third. 23rd, 23rd, yes. my goodness, you are flying with the time. You are in advance, tomorrow will be the 23rd. <laughs> Se nos está adelantando, Judith, mañana no hay clase, Tuesday, pero bueno. Tuesday, 22nd. Ah, okay, today is Thursday, 22nd. What else, Judith? June of 2023. Perfect. Very nice. Good. Nice. So today is Thursday, uh, June 22nd, 2023 or 2023. Okay. So uh, los números se supone que ya se los puede, right? So 2023, that will be 2023, right? Or you can use or you can say 2023. Las dos opciones son válidas, okay? So, uh, let me go to the attendance, okay? Vamos a llegar igual que ayer a la media hora y no hemos pasado el attendance. So, uh, let me know if you are here. Ada Verónica, ahí está. Ya me puedo algunos, fíjense. Eh, Alexandra Jamilet. Here. Nice, Alexandra. Eh, Alexis Giovanni. Present teacher. Nice. Alicia Pérez. Ahí está Alicia. Eh, uh -huh. eh, Ana Maricela. Nice. Eh, Brenda Claribel. It's me, teacher. Nice. Okay, so Byron Giovanni, ahí está. Um, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Nice, Carlos. We missed you yesterday, Carlos, okay? Uh -huh. So let's see, Cecilio Antonio. 
Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Hector Jose. Hector Jose. No. Este Hector Jose ya no va a venir porque ya no con ya no se conectó. Eh, sí, no. Okay, uh, Jacqueline Vanessa. Okay, Vanessa, no problem. Thank you, Jennifer. Present, Miss. Nice, Miss. A uh, Jennifer, Jose Alejandro. Jose Alejandro. Jose Alejandro no vino ayer. Dice aquí que está enfermo. Bien. So, no está. Eh, Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine uh, Giselle. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Kevin Alexander. Present. Nice. Kevin. Lenin Hernandez. Present. Ajá, Lenin, ayer no vino, ¿ok? Traten de no faltar, ¿ok? Traten de no faltar para que no les vaya a dar problema ahí el porcentaje al final. Uh, nice. Leticia, Judith. I'm here. Nice, Leticia. Eh, Luis Alfredo. Nice, Luis Alfredo. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Nice, Magdalena. Martín de Jesús. Martín de Jesús, creo que sí está. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> bueno, Martín no responde. No sé si ha escrito en el chat. Miguel Antonio. Present, miss. Nice, mister. Uh, Nelson Eduardo. Present, miss. Nice. Noé Ezequiel. Present. Nice. Norma Lisset. Present, teacher. Nice. Olivia Rachel. Present. Nice. Oscar Alexander. Present, teacher. Nice. Zaira y Dalia. Present. Present, okay, nice. Uh, Sylvia Aster. Good evening, I'm here. Okay, uh, Sylvia Aster, nice. So let's see, we are going to validate the attendance um, one more time at the end. Um, let's see. Um, uh -huh. Do we have homeworks for today? Homeworks, homeworks, homeworks. Yes, it's Claribel. Tell us, Brenda Claribel. So what is the homework or what are the homeworks about? Para que los que no lo han hecho ahorita se pongan así, ve. Lo que diga I... Brenda Claribel. Uh -huh. uh, can you hear me? Go ahead. Okay. Uh... I remember is see homeworks. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is the pictures. Uh, I don't know if it's yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah. investigate about features. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. investigate about features. And the second is uh, the questions. Mm -hmm. uh, the notes. And book. Mm -hmm. e, and sorry, um, I finished the platform. Okay, very nice, Brenda. Okay, so siempre le vamos a preguntar a Brenda porque todo tiene ella en la mente. Entonces ahí, ahí vamos a ver todo oh. siempre. Okay, very nice. So. <laughs> okay, so features. Miguel okay. Antonio, where are you, Miguel? Hello, Miss. 
Ah, you are at home, ok. Por un momento vi como que estaba así como en un centro comercial. <risa> ok, no, no, para no. I see that you are at home, ok. Nice, you are safe, right? Pobrecito los que salieron tarde este día porque están atrapados en cualquier lugar por lluvia, ok. But you are safe, Miguel Antonio. So, uh, let's see, Miguel Antonio, uh, what is a feature? Uh, sorry, Fisher. Yes, sorry. Okay, okay. No problem. Okay, no problem. Uh, Miguel, vamos a ver. Le vamos a pedir a Catherine Giselle que nos ayude. Uh -huh. Catherine Giselle, tell us what is a feature. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Catherine Giselle. Sorry. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Giovanni Cortés. <ríe> está compartiendo pantalla. <ríe> ah, Giovanni, ah, Giovanni. <ríe> Byron Giovanni. Ajá, vaya, Catherine Giselle. El silencio me lo dice todo, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. <ríe> Vamos a ver, alguien que nos salve la vida. Eh, Alejandra Yamilet tiene así como cara de que sabe la respuesta. Vamos a ver, Alejandra. Tell us what is a feature. Sorry, I don't understand. Uh, okay. You are asking me for the, uh, for the meaning of the word. Yeah, in English, try in English. What is a feature? Uh -huh. um, Característica. Okay, that would be like the translation, right? Like, like the translation into Spanish. Okay, okay, no problem, um, Alejandra. That's good. Okay, let's see. Vamos a seguir preguntando. Silvia Esther, no tiene cámara, pero... Eh, but I'm here. Ajá, uh -huh, you are there, okay? That's good, okay? So, ajá, uh -huh, Silvia, start, tell us. I know that the features are updated or new functions, funciones, that uh, in the, o cualquier plataforma. Okay, I, okay. I know that, that is. is. Mm -hmm, there you go, there you go. Okay, so, ajá, uh -huh, those are like, Characteristics, those are like auctions. Uh -huh. Brenda Claribel, tell us your, your definition. Estaba ahí que lo quería decir, right? Go ahead. What a moment. Uh, one a moment. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not say it. <laughs> <laughs> problem, no problem. I told you, you can yes. be eating something. No, no me molesta. Mientras okay. esté poniendo atención y esté en la clase, puede echarse la sopepata si quiere. <laughs> okay, teacher, thanks. Um, I am investigated uh, what, uh, what are some pictures. I understand it's a topic. Uh, right? Okay, okay, yeah, that's a simple word, but uh -huh. okay, go ahead, continue. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. for me, Zoom is one of the most up to date video calling software application today. Um, I take a lot of participation with the changes general. general generate by the pandemic worldwide. worldwide. I love how you are video meeting from any internet connection while chatting lately. An important feature is that it allows you to record the sections to view them later. Okay, nice. So what Brenda Claribel is describing is one example of a feature from Zoom, the, this platform, oh. platform right? Okay. So all the, all the auctions and she mentioned many, many different features. Now, 
Let me ask you, do we get the idea from this word? O todavía hay gente que se queda como pensando, ¿qué es eso? O, o más o menos se entiende no. lo que han, han, han dicho acá los compañeros about features. Alejandra lo mencionó prácticamente in Spanish, right? Uh, then Silvia, she mentioned like the definition and Brenda tell us like some examples. Do we get the idea? Los demás, si se comprende cuando yo le digo, okay, let's try to use all the features. All For the features. Me, teacher, uh -huh. so, so. So, so, Magdalena, okay. Jennifer, tell us, what did you get from the feature word? Sorry, I don't understand. You didn't get it? Okay, no problem. Let's see, vamos a ver. Um, es que hoy no hay cámaras, están por la lluvia, las estamos perdonando ahora. Um, Veamos este, a quién le preguntamos. Juan Antonio, ajá, tell us, Juan Antonio, features. Thank you for your uh, question for, for me, to me, but uh, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, could you spell the, this word for me, please? Ok, definitely, definitely. Mire, por eso estoy preguntando, no. así va, para que veamos uh -huh. si de verdad. Ok, porque ahí una compañera este, dio la, como la traducción, características. Ok, so, eh, ¿cómo le digo? O sea, si ustedes, bueno, ahorita vamos a preguntar, dígame la verdad, no me mienta. Dios lo puede castigar por las mentiras. Vamos a ver, Ada Verónica tiene sí cara de que me va a decir la verdad. Bye, vamos a preguntar. Voy a, voy a, para que me entiendan esta palabra, voy a hacer esta pregunta que es algo que a todos les quisiera preguntar, pero el tiempo no da. Pero Ada Verónica sí va a decir la verdad. Ada Verónica, you have a smartphone, right? Aquí nadie me va a decir, mire, yo tengo un teléfono de Nokia, ¿va? o sea de aquellos de la prehistoria, todos me van a decir, mire, yo tengo un octava generación, yo tengo el último iPhone, o sea, eh, pe teléfonos pesados, ¿verdad? No de a dólar, ¿ok? So, Ada Verónica, now, you have a smartphone, right? So, now, my question, Ada Verónica, is the language in your phone, it's in English or in Spanish? In your phone, the language in your phone, it's in English or in Spanish? La verdad. It's in Spanish. Mm -hmm. Gracias por la verdad. Juan Antonio, what about you? You use your phone in English or in Spanish? No me mienta, diga la verdad. <laughs> no, in Spanish, teacher. In Spanish. Lenin yes. Hernández, what about you? Your phone is in English or in Spanish? In Spanish. In Spanish. Miguel, Antonio, los que tienen cámara les pregunto porque los demás, o sea, yo sé que algunos van de viaje saliendo y el tráfico y eso, ¿verdad? Así que ya saben. Ajá, Miguel, Biones. And the Spanish and French. Ah, ok, so are you learning French? Yes. Ok, but you are learning English as well, so why you don't have your phone in English? I don't know, Serifa. Es difícil para mí el inglés. Francés lo sentí más fácil. Ok, bueno, bueno, bueno. Vamos a ver. Ana Marisela, what about you? No, Ana Marisela, perdón, es que está ahí en, en un lugar ahí público. No se preocupe. Uh, Catherine Gisa. Yes, Miss. I use some of the application in English. Some applications, not the phone itself, yes. just some applications you have it in English, the rest in yes. Spanish. Yes. Vaya, pero algo es algo, por ahí vamos llegando. Catherine Andreina, what about you? Your phone, it's in English or in Spanish? In the Spanish. Spanish, bye. Ya no voy a seguir preguntando porque no me quiero enojar, mentira. Este, no, right? So, That's a question for all of you. So why you have your phone in Spanish if you are learning English and you are in intermediate too? O sea, yo le puedo valer que tengan el teléfono en español allá los que vienen iniciando el módulo 1 y el módulo 2. Pero usted, 
ya está en el preintermedio y con el teléfono en español mal hecho mal hecho hoy se lo voy a regañar so Así not because <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Así me lo vendieron. Ah, ok. Acabo de cambiar yo al inglés. Gracias. Ok, nice, Giovanni. So, you know that you can learn many, many words just by using your phone in English. Nelson, Eduardo, go ahead. My computer is in English. Ok, at least, right? At least your computer is in English. But if you switch your phone into English, it will be better. Ok, si usted estuviera su teléfono en inglés no estuviéramos explicando esta palabra de feature Teacher, porque usted in ya the, la conociera in comments, switch my languages ok, <laughs> so you go to settings ok, I'm sorry que lo tienen en español se va a los ajustes de su teléfono y ahí en ajustes busca la opción que dice idioma o lenguaje y cámbielo a inglés. Tenga cuidado. Una vez me dijeron, nice, Verónica. Una vez me dijeron, mire, por andar haciéndole caso a usted, mire, lo puse en Chinese y ahora solo me salen unos ganchos aquí. No hay yo cómo regresar a donde estaba. Tenga cuidado. No lo vaya a poner en japonés ahí porque ahí sí ya no, yo no le puedo ayudar. Ok. So, English. Cámbialo, pero hágalo por usted. No lo haga por, porque yo le digo, o sea, usted es el que necesita. Aprender inglés y perfeccionar lo que ya sabe. Entonces, cámbielo. Ande ahí. Mire, usted que solo en WhatsApp pasa, por solo conectados pasan. Ahí dice eh, en línea, ¿verdad? Cuando está usted viendo ahí el, el fulano, el sultano que está conectado, dice en línea. ¿Cómo lo va a ver ahora que usted cambie eh, el teléfono? Online, ¿ok? Online, very nice. Ahí, Noel, la palabra feature está un poco, quiero ver. Feature. Ah, sí, 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 así está aquí. Bien. Feature. Feature. So, los features son las características, es decir, no en sí las aplicaciones, sino que son los extras that you have, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, usted dice el iPhone, no sé de iPhone, es un ejemplo así hipotético que voy a poner. El iPhone 6. Tenía una cámara de, ¿qué? 8 megapíxeles. El iPhone 10, un ejemplo, tiene un extra feature de Camera X10. ¿Ok? Ya mejoró su, de, sus características. Ya no tiene una cámara de 8 megas, sino que ahora la trae de 10. Y así sucesivamente. Cada um, equipo tecnológico va sacando new features que lo hace superior al anterior. Right, so Zoom, le dije yo, Zoom, we have many features. So antes no había pizarra en Zoom, ahora hay pizarra. Antes there were no breakout rooms, now we have that feature. So esas son como características adicionales o ventajas que tiene un teléfono smartphone. Usted un smartphone no solo es para recibir una llamada, usted puede hacer muchas cosas, descargar una aplicación, hacer pagos, meterse a cualquier sitio web. O sea, those are the features that you have in your phone. So they are like extra, ¿ok? Mire aquí lo pone así como dice, ajá, características, pero, pero, pero... Eh, son como, o sea, los extras, ¿verdad? Que va teniendo un dispositivo, si hablamos de un teléfono, las ventajas que tiene Zoom, el feature que tiene, que usted puede hacer votaciones, que usted puede grabar, que usted puede descargar. So, those are the features. Catherine Andreina. Yes. I, I now, uh, I now you understand the feature. Uh, for example, oh. the, this camera has several features that make uh, easy to use. Very good, Catherine Andreina. There you go, you see? Si usted pone su teléfono en inglés, ahí está. Y dice features for the phone, o sea, las características de su teléfono. Y le dice, tiene esto, tiene lo otro, puede hacer esto, puede hacer lo otro. So, que tal vez con otro teléfono de aquellos tiempos no lo iba a hacer, right? So, these or those are the features, okay? So, please... That's, that is my best advice. Please um, change the 
language in your phone. If you have a smart TV, que creo que la mayoría tiene un smart TV o algo que se le parezca a eso, so cámbielo a mi modo y dígale a la familia, yo lo siento, pero aquí en inglés se va a poner esto y el que quiera ver tele, pues que le rebusque el inglés, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues me dice a mí cómo le pongo las películas aquí. Usted ve una serie de Netflix. ¿Qué es eso de ver series um, en español? Usted medio ya mastica el español, no necesita más, right? So you need English. So switch, váyase ahí a los settings del, del language de la serie que mira y póngalo en English. Le acepto los subtítulos, los subtítulos, pero en inglés. No me vaya a poner el subtítulo en español, que es que es para ir leyendo. No, lea en inglés. Va escuchando y leyendo. Mata ahí dos, dos habilidades de una vez. Ok. Listening and reading in English, of course, right? So, hágalo, pero no lo haga como le digo, porque yo le estoy diciendo. El último día de clase le voy a preguntar y le voy a poner así. ¿ve? No me va a decir, sí, en inglés. Le voy a decir, enseñe, ponga así el teléfono. Uy, mi teléfono no se ve, pero porque tengo ahí el background, pero le voy a poner así, ve, que me ponga en la pantalla el teléfono y, y ver si de verdad que lo tiene, que lo tiene en, en, en inglés, right? So no me estar haciendo ahí la, eh, la marufia, como dicen, right? So do it, hágalo. Ay, mañana ahí me va a estar hasta queriéndome insultar que no haya nada en el teléfono, que no haya cómo hacer la cosa, porque le va a cambiar todo en las aplicaciones, o sea, ya no va a haber en, en, por ejemplo, en Instagram ya no va a haber seguidores, va a haber followers. Ok, so en qué otras aplicaciones que usan ustedes? Facebook ya no va a darle me gusta, tiene que darle like. Ok, so en qué más, qué más, qué más usan ustedes en Twitter? So, ni sé cómo yo como lo tengo en inglés, tengo tweets, pero no sé cómo lo dice, lo, le aparece en español. Ok, so all the apps will be in English. Si usted ocupa su teléfono por trabajo, mañana va a sufrir si de verdad lo cambia a, porque algunos manejan correo ahí en el teléfono, o sea, emails. So tiene que, en vez de darle responder, tiene que darle reply, en vez de darle reenviar, tiene que darle forward. So mire cuántas palabras usted se está perdiendo de gratis, que usted las puede agarrar ahí de gratis, ok so, ajá, la sí mire, ya está ahí, no es Ezequiel ya lo puso el whatsapp en, en English, right, ya no va a decir usted en la última hora que la persona vio, visto por última vez sino que la sí, ok mire, pasado del verbo mire, cosas bien básicas, cuando usted tenga una llamada, ya no va a decir llamada entrante, sino que le va a aparecer incoming call Outgoing call, llamada saliente. Reply, contestar, ok. So texting, le va a salir ahí en el WhatsApp que la otra persona está escribiendo. Texting, ok. So many, many words as I told you, ok. So, pero de verdad hágalo, o sea, quiere usted Esto. A, aprender. <risas> nice, Jacqueline, ok. Quiere aprender. Tiene usted muchas herramientas. Miren, aquellos tiempos ¿va? de la prehistoria que no, pues sí, no teníamos esas opciones a puro libro. Le tocaba a uno andar cargando ahí el gran librote, el gran diccionario. O sea, usted puede descargar en su teléfono una, un diccionario online y buscar. Ahí hay una, una página que se llama Word Referenced. Se la voy a buscar, ahí tengo yo el link, Word Reference. Ese Word Reference le dice la palabra en cualquier idioma que usted quiera, le da ejemplos, el contexto, obviously que usted va a buscar los de inglés. So, ajá. Nice. So, we are going to continue, okay? We have a couple of minutes and we are going to start with this, okay? So, be ready with your answers and let's start. Um, Alguien mandó ahí un screenshot, no sé, ya lo vamos a mirar, Miguel. So, yes. let's see. Yeah. What is that, Miguel? No, de que ya puse el teléfono también en inglés. Ah, ok, very good, very nice. Mañana voy a estar ahí, Dio guardia, ¿y aquí qué hago y qué pasó? ¿Verdad? Pero hágalo, hágalo, si pasamos, ¿qué? 
el 60, 70% de tiempo del día en el teléfono por trabajo, por hobby, por desestrés, por lo que sea. Usted no vive si no tiene el teléfono. Entonces, ahí va a aprender, ahí va a aprender que le va a costar, tal vez, pero si nunca lo hace, nunca va a salir de lo mismo. Ok, so, do it. Uh, nice. Let's see. I'm going to start with um, Lenin. Lenin Hernandez. Who's uh, your favorite athlete and why? Lenin, Lenin. Uh, um, a ver. And why? Mm -hmm. Who's your favorite athlete and why? So this is the homework, right? Esto se supone que ya lo hicieron. Mm, okay, that's an sport. Okay, no problem. Learning, learning. Okay, no se preocupe. Si alguien no contestó eso, háganlo. Mi, porque ya pasó, pero usted hágalo. Ya no le vamos a preguntar, tal vez sí, pero haga las prácticas, es lo que importa, okay? So, uh, let's see, the same question now will be for um, Jacqueline Vanessa. Who's your favorite athlete and why, Jacqueline? My favorite athlete is Lionel Messi. <laughs> okay, why? Uh, because he he's a smart and from the, the best in the world. Okay, then definitely, right? He's really, really smart and also rich, rich people, right? Nice, thank you. Let's see, uh, Byron Giovanni, the next one, who are three famous athletes at least in your country? So do you know? Yeah, um, number one, Michael Gonzalez. Number two, um, only at least. Yeah, at least, but we don't really have like too many, right? So you can mention like soccer players. That's the only thing famous probably that we have, um, right? Okay. I don't remember. Mágico. Ah, de patria querida, Álvaro Torres. Es el cantante. But, el but that is a singer. Uh -huh. a singer. And this ones are related uh -huh. with sports, remember, right? Have... You don't remember the names, so. Ya ves que estamos mal en cultura general del país porque no, no conocemos a la gente. Pero bueno, no? <laughs> los nombres se nos escapan. Vamos a ver. Eh, um, quiero ver a alguien que se mire que sepa de deporte que a veces uno de, de es femenino no, no, no mucho pero Ada Verónica creo que sí sabe dice o Ada Verónica three famous athletes in our country eh, Cristina López Atleta. who is she eh, Carlos Ticas ok that's it Okay, you have two names, so probably they will be tomorrow in the the games, right? The Central America and Caribbean games. Okay, nice, Miguel. Which ones do you know? Uh, I'm the three the three uh, famous athletes in my country is Eva Maria Dimas, Evelyn Garcia, and Jorge El Magico Gonzalez. Perfect. Just one thing, Miguel. Three famous at least in my country, that's what you say, is. What do you think? Three famous at least in my country, is or are? Is. But are. remember, are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you say, three famous at least in my country are. And three then are. you say, okay, remember, is is just one. But you mentioned three, so R, R, okay? okay. Nice, let's continue, okay? Let's see, now we have, um, let's see. Um, Sylvia Stern, nice, now you have your camera. Sylvia, that is your real background, right? 
That's yes. your real, okay? So it's real. It's for real. So number three, do you ever watch sports on TV? And which ones, um, Sylvia Star? I saw uh, football. Uh, also, uh, boxing. Boxing? With my, yes, boxing. I remember that uh, una pelea with Canelo in alguien de Rusia. Okay, so but, a fight, right? Pelea, una fight, okay, from boxing. Okay, very good, Sylvia Stir. Nice. Uh, let's see the next one, uh, Brenda Claribel. Uh, do you ever watch sports live? In which ones? Uh, yes, I watch uh, in TV. Um, I couldn't really like to watch NBA games, uh, women's volleyball games. Okay, very nice. So live means in vivo, right? So the sports, but in real time, right? No repetido, no grabado, right? In no, live. No, no. Okay, Le real life. Okay, perfect. Let's see the next question. Uh, Martin de Jesus. Martin de Jesus, uh, what are two sports you don't like? I don't know if you have, but this is the question. Uh, what are two sports you don't like? Um, the new sport when the people uh, go there. Okay. So, the, but what, face, what would be the, the sport? In the face. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the name with, with the sport, but this is, this is don't lie because the people don't 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 have the opportunity with uh, the fans. Okay, so I don't know exactly, um, Martin, which one can be that sport, but I understand. Okay, the reason why you don't like it. Okay, nice. Um, no problem. Let's see. Vamos a ver a quién no le hemos preguntado. Um, Jennifer, ya le pregunté, pero como estamos en el second round, ya vamos en la segunda vuelta, right? So, Jennifer Arevalo, let's see. Um, what sport or activity do you want to try? Mm. Uh, basketball and soccer. Okay, so I will, I would like to try basketball and soccer. Okay, I would like to practice or I would like to do uh, the sports, right? So nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we have a couple of minutes and we are going to take advantage of the time, right? So uh, this activity we are going to skip. Okay, remember that from the book or the manual right here, Se los envié este manual, niños. Qué barbaridad. Ahorita me estoy acordando. Yes. Lo mandé. Yes, teacher. But we have in the class. Yes, teacher. I shared yesterday. Ah, okay. Yesterday okay. night, teacher. Okay, perfect. So you already have it, right? So I know it is in the platform, right? Ahí está un click, pero a veces ese click no lo damos. Por eso a mí me gusta que, eh, que, que lo tengan ahí en el WhatsApp, right? So as I told you, so we are going to be like skipping some exercise, right? Porque si nos ponemos like step by step uh, doing all the activities and the uh, exercise, llegamos a... a, a Okay, uno, dos, tres meses, okay? So remember that we are doing like the most important things, right? So in some practices, and the idea for this section is that you need to talk, that you need to say something, that you need to practice, that you, okay, usted tiene que hablar y leer y todo aquí, right? Para que usted practique, okay? So uh, I'm a real fitness freak. My goodness, what is this? I'm a real fitness freak. Did you get the idea of this sentence? If I say I'm a real fitness freak, 
¿Qué quiere decir eso? ¿Qué estamos diciendo? Un loco del gimnasio, un loco del deporte, algo así. Más que loco, así como una persona que está como obsesionada, o sea, que truene, llueve, relampague, va ahí a hacer el ejercicio X que haga, ¿verdad? O sea, un, una de esas personas que tienen la disciplina, más que la disciplina, right? So, look at the example, look at the picture, and let's see the example right here in the, in the conversation between Rup and Kate. Kate, it says, uh, you are a great, you are in great shape, Kate. Thems, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Uh, how often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play uh, sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right but I'm not very good, no problem. I will give you a few tips, okay? So this is this person right here. You see it's in a very good shape, right? Because he's a real fitness freak. That means that he is doing like too many sports, too many activities every weekend or every day, right? And you see the schedule right there when he is like doing uh, aerobics and when uh, he is doing or practicing tennis, right? So uh, we are going to read just one couple, okay? Because of the time. So let's see. Okay, I have participants. Uh, Alexandra and Martin, thank you. You are Ruth and Martin, you are uh, Kate right here. So go ahead, please. Don't forget the punctuation. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I'm we are finished freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Continue, uh, Martin. Well, um Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, very nice, very good, okay. I like your pronunciation just right here, pretty, right? Pretty well. Pretty well, I guess, okay? But not nice, okay? So because of the time, we are going to continue, okay? So look, these ones are examples. Look, uh, fitness freak. That means that this is a person that is like, a, has like an section, right? Of be doing uh, physical activity. And this is the opposite of a coach potato. Look at the coach potato, okay? So, and this is a, a sport fan, okay? So those are vocabulary that is regarding or related with um, sports, okay? Now we have this part, questions, okay? So look, in this course or in this uh, intermediate two, this is like a review from previous, okay? So previous um, courses, right? So probably this is uh, like a review from the course number two, right? Allá en el beginner, right? Cuando estuve allá en el módulo dos. So these ones are like themes that we already know, okay? So it says uh, right here, questions with how and short answers, right? You know that a short answer is something very simple, right? It's just like yes or no, very simple, okay? But we have the questions how, we have different examples for the, we have how often, okay? How often do you work out? How long do you spend at the gym? Uh, how well do you play tennis? And how good uh, are you at sports, okay? So this is a WH question. Se acuerdan de las WH questions? Yeah? The WH questions are like the opposite of the yes, no questions, right? The yes, no questions are like with the verb to be. 
simple questions and simple answers. But with the WH, we are like asking for more information, right? That's why they are called WH because they are like information questions, right? But right now we have just the how, okay? The how it's the only one that we have right here. And these ones the, are the examples for the simple, right? Simple answers like every day, twice a week, not very often, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week. So these ones are like um, complements, right? Time expressions, okay? So um, we are going to stop for right now, okay? So tomorrow we are going to complete these uh, questions. So if you have the time, tomorrow. No, tomorrow, <laughs> we don't have class tomorrow, so. That will be Monday. I'm sorry, Monday. Mañana no vaya a venir aquí a link. Aquí no va a haber nadie. Bueno, espero a que nadie vaya a meterse porque no hay. Okay. So, aha, uh -huh. that will be next Monday. Okay. Please try to do it in advance. Okay. Para que empecemos aquí el lunes. Trate de ya tener ahí la, la, las questions. Okay. Using uh, how, right? So, those uh, examples that we have right here are the ones that we are going to use right here. So uh, let me stop sharing and I need to validate the attendance. I have two minutes only. Um, before to let you go, please uh, let me know if you are here. Solamente como dos, tres personas. Eh, Martin de Jesus. Martin, ahí está. No le había puesto asistencia, Martin. Quiero ver a dónde está Martin. ¿Qué se me hizo? Si es usted, ¿verdad, Martín? No. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Ahí está, Martín. Yeah, that's you, ¿ok? No sé por qué no tenía asistencia. José Alejandro. Héctor José. No, es Héctor no ha venido nunca. Ok, so just uh, those two persons, uh, José Alejandro, no está. Ok, those are the only ones that are without the attendance. Then the rest, ya sabe, al final, si no lo menciono es porque le puse asistencia desde el inicio, right? So that's the idea. So time is over. I appreciate it. Please enjoy your weekend. We don't have class tomorrow. Tomorrow it's free vacations. If you already finished the platform, ok? Si usted ya terminó la plataforma, mañana se puede ir de parranda. Aunque no le recomiendo ir a San Salvador porque va a ir una locura, pero bueno. Eh, puede ir al campo, otro lado, ok? So, if you finish already the platform, si no ha terminado la plataforma, usted no tiene permiso de ir a ningún lado. Usted tiene que terminar la plataforma, no matter what, ok? So, uh, time is over, appreciate it, ok? Eh, see you on Monday, ok? Please, um, no sé quién se le ha activado ahí el micrófono. No, los, no me deja silenciar. Ok. So, nice. Time is over. See you next Monday. Ok. Enjoy your weekend. And see you soon. Ok. Bye bye. Good night. Cambien el teléfono. Pero de verdad, ahí sufren el fin de semana. English.